Okay, guys. Yeah, that was a long, dramatic pause there for you. Um, uh, I really think somebody's trolling me. Uh, they're giving me one dislike every video. I'm going to find out who you are and then try to win your love for these tutorials because it really matters to me. Last night uh, was a really rough night. We have a newborn baby, and she kept us up all night long. And so that made me think about, um, you know, audio a little bit because I just really wished that I could have turned down her volume a little bit. Um, and I thought, hey, I should do a tutorial on volume and adjusting uh, audio levels inside Avid Media Composer. So I'm going to do that. And then um, I might ramble a little bit and just kind of go over a lot of audio things. All right. So uh, let's let's do this. Um, first, we're going to talk about automating audio levels um, inside your timeline. Um, so a lot of people's sequence will probably look like this without much detail um, initially, but you want to come down here and say uh, track control panel. And then you can click on these little guys and say what you want to automate. All right. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. And so let's say... This is where my voiceover comes in, right? So let's turn on the volume automation here on this track and this track. And as you can see, I already um, did some. Uh, but uh, but what's going to happen is these keyframes won't show up on yours, of course. Uh, it'll just be the straight line. And for me, I have it mapped to P. I don't know what everybody else does because I think that's what Adobe's used to be. But you just push P and P again and P here and then you can come through here and just kind of raise and lower and automate your audio levels um, what's really cool about this is let me just delete these two is I was working on a project the other day a surround sound project and um, what's really cool also is you you also have the ability to um, automate your pan in here as well okay so if you click both these on pan then you can click P and then there's your pan and as you can see over here on this side if you move your pan um, oh they're both opposite but if I say that then this changed over here yeah so you can automate your pan but that's just stereo what if you're like well I want to go from front to back um, well you can do that too instead of uh, doing a stereo mixing click this and do 5.1 mixing and then right in here you can see all of your um, you know, well, where it's positioned, I guess, the audio, right, left, back, front, middle. And then when you click in here, you'll have the option to pan uh, front position or rear position or front to rear position or center. So it's kind of cool uh, what you can automate there um, in your timeline. I'm feeling a little bit uh, monotone right now. It's just, I feel dry. I don't know. Maybe it's because I got two hours of sleep last night. I think that's probably it. So so this 5.1 sequence is really cool. Um, editing, and you can do 5.1 or 7.1. And if you don't have this set to pan, let's just say, let's just delete these keyframes. Then when you're adjusting where they are, you do that up here in um, your mixer. See? Just like that. It's really, really neat. The thing is, though, is you're not going to be able to actually hear that. It's going to sound stereo. Uh, in your headphones unless you're editing or have a 5.1 or surround sound setup um, to monitor so this would be your um, just how you're going to be editing the audio and then this would be how you're exporting and hearing the audio so if you have um, you know an hdmi out or something um, into your audio surround sound then you can monitor it that way and then hear it all um, but i find it's best to try and do your surround sound um, and listen to it in stereo first because if it sounds good in stereo, then you know most people are going to be listening in stereo. Okay. Um, what else can we talk about with audio? So we've kind of talked about tracking uh, volume levels. Um, we can talk about adding. Um, yeah, here we go. Some inserts. Okay. So if you want to add an insert, um, for example, here I have a little bit of compression, right? So if you click on it, you can see I have a compressor slash limiter. Okay, so you can do it a couple different ways. You can click on, say, the audio two here, click on that, and then you can add an insert there. Okay, reverb or whatever. 
and it'll just add it onto this entire track. So if you have voiceover on track one, you know, add a compressor to it instead of having to go through and add an effect to every single cut and every single you know audio clip inside that um, track. Yeah, so that's neat. So you can click here, and then when you do, if you need to find it over in your mixer, you just drop this down, and then they're all in here. And likewise, you can click on these and then add inserts there. Yeah, real nice. Okay, so that's a little bit about audio. Um, you know, naturally, too, you can see waveform when you have the track control panel by clicking there. I always leave it off unless I need it because it slows down um, your sequence when you're cutting. So I always do it on a need, as needed basis instead of having all of my waveform showing all the time. Um, yeah, soloing, yeah, yeah, everyone's got that. Okay, that's it. Um, hope you learned a little bit. Maybe you didn't. Maybe like that one person that dislikes my videos every time, maybe they just go through their life and just, maybe they're just, maybe all they do is just dislike videos. That's probably it. Yeah, that's probably it. I don't know. I, seriously, guys, I'm so tired. To about two hours last night. She was colicky, I think. Uh, she's having some digestion issues. Uh, we were going to go to a celebration tonight. Because um, uh, it's the third. And there's the third here in Denver. And they have a cool fireworks show. But I think we're going to pass. And instead, I'll just stay home and make tutorials all day. If you're still listening at this point, you're really dedicated to... Um, my tutorials and I appreciate it. You probably feel like you know me. You might, you know, but as always, um, if you have something you'd like to learn, um, I don't always know what people want to know or how advanced or non-advanced, you know, beginners are. So, uh, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll teach you if I can. Again, I, yeah, I don't always know the names of things, you know, it's like some people are very professional They're They got the jargon down. Um, I don't. I just don't have that. So if you're if you're here for these tutorials, um, and you're disliking them, ah, shoot, I gotta drop it. All right, I'm gonna go. It's already been too long.